Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you a quick demo of library management system. Okay, so I have started the project and here you can see this. It's a login page for my library management system. Here you can see this, we have this login button, sign up button and these are few stuff which you can easily identify. So this is YouTube, this is Facebook and this is Instagram. When I click on this YouTube logo, this will open my YouTube channel in my browser. Let me show you. When I click on this, I have clicked on this and it's loading. Okay, so my internet connection is a little bit slow. That's why it's taking a little bit of time. So you can see this, my channel is open. That is BTEC days. So if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please subscribe and to get uh, updated with my new content as well. And here, let me show you that when I click on this Instagram, it will open my Instagram account into my browser. Okay, so it will move to your Instagram account. So you can see this, if you have not followed me on Instagram, then just go and follow, search for VTech days as well. And here you will find my account and there you can directly text me whatever problem you have. I'm 24 into seven available there. I'm going to resolve your problem. So that's not an issue. So let me move back to the project as well. So you can see this. So I have shown you what is these stuff and this is actually closed. I have designed this. Let me close this. Here you can see this the application is closed. Okay, let me start this once again. So here you can see this. My path username is LMS and password is pass. So let me enter this. I have entered here. When I click on login, it will move to the dashboard. Here you can see this. These are the features which I am providing with this library management system like books in books we have two stuff that is add new book view book in the student we have two stuff that is add book view student book issue book we can issue the books we can return book complete book details it, it will show how many books are uh, allotted how many books are issued to the students and how many books are returned by the user okay so let me start with the first one so i have clicked on this books and when i click on this add new book here you can see this this form is open so if you need the source code then just you have to do two step that is first subscribe to my youtube channel and second just comment your email id in the comment section i will provide you the source code okay so we really do hard work for design new stuff new content and for that we need your support just subscribers this will help us to grow okay so let's start with this. Here you can see this. Now let me just name this book as Java. Okay. So book author name is something like me type JK. Okay. PK Singh. And book book publication is RK RK publication. Okay. Here you can see this. Book purchase data. Let me change this to previous one. So uh, it's in 2019 fab and something like this here you can see this book prices 532 for each and how many quantities we are buying is 25 when you click on this save it will show it will ask you that are you confirm you want to add this book so if you cancel this nothing will be happen when you click on ok here you can see this the data is now added here you can see this data saved successfully success okay so when i cancel it will close up unsafe data will be deleted here you can see this we have already saved and if you the without clicking on save if we click this then this will remove the data okay so let me move to this view book here you can see this we have this book view book pk saying rk publication and witness day here you can see this 20 2019 532 and as well as 20 is 25 okay so not to worry i'm going to show you how to design each stuff in this project okay so here you can see this we have to type book name if you want to search something like i i want to search java or here you can see this when i enter the first character it search for java okay so when i click on refresh it will load all the data suppose i have written this uh, publication or suppose i want i have purchased the 30 in a 30 books okay but i have wrongly mentioned here 25 so i want to change this so how to do that I have clicked on this here you can see this new form is opened here new panel is visible 
I'm going to show you how this stuff is working. If I click on refresh, the new panel is removed. Here you can see this nothing. Scroll bar is also removed. So when you click on this row, anywhere in this row, now new panel is opened with the filled data. Here you can see this for Java PKSing. Here you can see this. You can match the data actually. PKSing, RK publication, Wednesday. Here you can see this. Everything is now visible here. Okay. So I want to actually set this, uh, change this book point to root 30. So here you can see this now 30. When you update this and data will be updated, confirm. Okay. So here you can see this. Now the data is 30. Here you can see this. Okay. If you want to delete any book, you can easily delete with this button. Okay. So just click on that row. Data is here and you have to just click on delete. Data will be deleted. If you click on OK, they will be removed from the database as well. And when you click on cancel, nothing will happen. Here you can see this. Just cancel so you can see this we are back to here okay so let me just close this i've shown you how these stuff are working okay so here you can see this everything is working fine now let me just move to this add student so let me add a student because we have to add a student because students are going to issue these books books as well okay so let me add some name that is puja and enrollment number, let me take PU dash. Enrollment number is provided by the university, so you don't have to worry about the enrollment number. Okay. So 1002. So I have added this enrollment number. And department CSE and semester fourth. Okay. The contact number will be something like this. Okay. And Email ID will be pujaabrayjmail.com. Here you can see this. I'm going to click on the save info. Data saved. Okay, so I have not coded for this refresh. When I click on this refresh, all this text box will be cleared. I will show you that. Not to worry. If you are a beginner, then just stay tuned with us. Watch each video. I'm going to show you each small stuff. How these GIF I have added. How these small stuff I have done. And all these images and icons, I will provide the link in the description for these all images and icons which I have used in this project. Okay, so let me just add it here. You can see this puja, and this is what I have added here. You can see this few student here. You can see this puja pu1002, and we have few students before. Okay, so you can see this. Suppose we have entered something wrong with this, you can actually search this uh here each record with this enrollment number here you can see this pu when i enter pu here you can see this observe one small stuff that this image is already changed when i enter something let me just remove all the stuff here you can see this view student now previous gif has been fixed okay so you can see this pu dash one zero zero two when i enter proper enrollment number here you can see this all this stuff is here. When I click on this, new form is visible. Here you can see this. And suppose this uh, she is from this fifth semester, or like let me just take second semester. Okay. So second, when I click on update, data will be updated. Confirm. Okay. So here you can see this. It's now second. And I want to remove this record as well. So here you can see this. This enrollment number is one two three four like this. Okay. So I want to delete this data. So how to delete this? Just click on this delete. Delete data will be deleted. Click on OK. Now here you can see this. Now first record has been removed. So this image is still here because this text text box is already filled with data. Let me just remove this. Here you can see this. Okay. So I have shown you how to do these stuff. Here you can see this. Now we have this issue book form. Okay. So I have done one more change in this. When you maximize this, the this text box are adapt according to that and these button moved from the right corner okay that when you minimize it it will just change its size here you can see this how this stuff is going on i will show you okay so not to worry about that so here you can see this when i click on this book name here you can see this we have added java so this is actually fetched this data is fetched from this uh 
database and being added into this combo box so i will show you that also not to worry about that okay so here you can see this what is going on okay so let me just start with this okay suppose you entered something wrong user id and password with uh, sorry uh, wrong enrollment number and when you try to search here you can see this invalid enrollment number so what we have entered is u dash 1002 which is puja and when you search you can see this puja cac second here you can see this all the data is here let me just refresh this here you can see this all the stuff has been removed okay so let me just close and add it once again so pu dash 1002 when i click on this search student here you can see this and suppose i have not selected this um any book here okay and when i click on this here you can see this select book here you can see this select book or maximum number of book has been issued it means that either you have not selected the book or this user id this enrollment number has issued with the three books okay so i'm going to enter this okay and let me just select this data structure this is the first book that i'm going to issue for this user id okay so let me just issue book issued okay so I'm going to issue this another book as well. So I'm going to issue Java book issued. So I'm going to issue books as well. So issue. And I'm going to again issue this data structure. Here you can see this. I have already issued three books as well. So when I'm going to try for the fourth book, here you can see this. Okay, so something error is there. Okay, so there was a small error in my code, so I have solved that. And here you can see this, uh, we have already added, uh, issued three books for, I'm now going to issue the fourth one. Okay, so when I click on this, here you can see this, select book or the maximum number of books has been issued. Okay, so let me close this and let me show you that. When I click on this uh, remove book, here you can see this, PU-1002 is the enrollment number for this Puja. Okay, so here you can see this. We have already three books books allotted to her. Okay, so here you can see this. And let me show you once again that when I try to allot one more, we would ask 1002 and search student. And when I select Java and issue book, here you can see this. Now it's working fine. Okay, so maximum three books can be issued to one student. And when I click on refresh it will remove all the content and when i click on this exit this will close this form okay so when i click on this return book here you can see this we have to search with the enrollment number okay so suppose a student has been come in front of you and you want to return the book so i'm going to ask what is your enrollment number and when we say pu1002 and when you search for a student here you can see this if suppose if the user want to re return this uh, java or data structure book okay so i want to return this java book when i click on this you can see this all the data is here and i want to return this so when you click on this return this will return the book okay so when you click on this return here you can see return successful when you click on ok and if you again search for pu-1002 here you can see this we have only two books here and if you want to reissue the book now user can access that book one once again okay so pu dash 1002 and when i click on this here you can see this now i want to take one oops one more book okay so when i'm going to issue book here you can see that book issued let me just close this and when i click on this pu dash 1002 search and if you want to issue one more book here you can see this maximum number of book has been okay so I'm going to show you that the third book is available or not. Here you can see this. Now we have two books. Book is here. Okay. So I have shown you how these all stuff is working. Here you can see this. You can select the return date, like in past or something like that. You can change as well. So return. Okay. So I have shown you how to do this. When you click on this exit, this will close the application, close the form as well. And let me just show you pu-1002 so student when you click on refresh it will remove all content as well so just close this 
and let me show you what is this complete book detail when i click on this here you can see this. these are the book currently allocated to the users okay so you can see this all these contents are here issued book currently active here you can see this free books which are issued okay so which is puja 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 okay so two books currently okay so you can see this two books and all the return book are here which i have practiced before when i'm designing this application okay not to worry about that so I'm going to show you each stuff and each image and icon I will show you. I will provide you. Don't worry about that. Okay, so let me just see one small stuff. U dash one zero zero two. So it's student. Here you can see this. We have only two books, and in this we have only two active condition for this puja. Here you can see this. Puja has already returned few books, five books. Here you can see this, and the same way you can return more books. Okay. So when you click on this exit, this will close the application. So I hope you like this project. And if you really like this project, just stay tuned with us. I will go, I'm going to show you each stuff in detail. Just stay tuned. Tomorrow I'm going to upload the first video for this, how to design the login page as well. And how to design this dashboard. And after that, how to design one book, add book, view book, add a student, uh, view student, show book, return book, complete book, detail, exit, everything in detail. Okay, so not to worry about that. So that's it for the today's video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please follow us on Instagram. Just go and for more similar projects, just go to the description. You can check for other projects as well. Okay, so thanks for watching.